Okay, my name is Fernando Valladares. Today I am a producer, artistic producer of multicultural festivals, among other things. I do work in different sectors of the society, apart from the artistic. I do consulting for the Italian, Portuguese, and Spanish community. And I'm also uh, trying to learn uh, how to develop myself in life and uh, become a better citizen. Our community is big in numbers. It comes from 20 different countries, but we don't have a Barrio Latino. We don't have a Latin quarters in Toronto. Because of that, we, we come from 20 different countries. So you may see that the Ecuadorians, they prefer to live uh, on Wilson and, and Kiel, or, or the Colombians maybe in Mississauga. So we're not, we, we, we don't mix really well. We don't blend as a community because we are not a community. We are a, minor, a majority of minorities. And this is what I think it has, is a handicap in our community, economically speaking, when you compare our community to the Italians, or the Portuguese, or the Indians, or the blacks. We come from too many different countries, it's too many different cultures. We are a multicultural community ourselves. And we have not fully integrated as such as, such as a community. Well, Las Flores is an organization that was established in order to unite the Hispanic community as an umbrella organization to unite all these cultures in order to have a voice, a united voice for our community. Las Flores was the Latin media, the Latin media was Las Flores. We were all sitting down on a table when the need arrived and we all united. We were more united in 1972 and 1980 with a small group than we are today because the needs were more irrelevant. It wasn't only the Spanish media. We used to do uh, radio tones, and we used to go to CFTO, we used to go to City TV. So our community, when they saw the, the Canadians are benevolent people, are people that open their hearts to any disaster. When they saw that the Canadians were contributing to the Red Cross and all the collections, that's when our community woke up too. Now, that's why when there is a disaster right now, you can see many of us from Toronto contributing to anything that may happen in, in China or whatever, because we are used to that. We grew together. So, I came to see my father. I was on a sabbatical. I wanted to see my roots. I wanted to see why, who am I? And who is my father? I was disappointed. I wanted to go back because I could, I could not survive at the beginning all the shocks that I had culturally. No love. I didn't have a family here. I felt an orphan. I was an orphan. So I was so confused that after three months I wanted to leave. I came to see my father. My father wasn't here, even though he was here. I could not relate to my father. And then I saw all these multicultural groups, and, and I remember going to a restaurant and saying, I want a kitchen sandwich, and everybody laughing. It was a chicken sandwich, but I could not express myself. So I used to walk out of the restaurant, and I couldn't eat. Then I used to go to harvest and point it at the, the boar. At the beginning, it was confused. There were no Spanish-speaking people here, mainly. Not like today. Today, you come home, you, you come to Toronto, you are home right away. You are Italian, you are home. You are Indian, you are home. Because you can relate with your own community. So at that time, we're talking about 40 years ago. I mean, uh, there was a different situation. Three months, I was, uh, no, I became 19 here. Then I was confused. I wanted to go back. And the reason I didn't go back is because immigration offered me an opportunity of help. Canada was a country in need of immigrants at that time. Today is still. But we do not recognize that today. When you look at it from a very philosophical point of view, the only way to succeed is to integrate and to respect 
and to grow together. That's what makes uh, us Torontonians unique. Because we are like the true colors of uh, Benetton. We are everything. We are so rich in culture that your culture, your food, is good to me. And, and you know, and, and we are so rich that we don't need to leave Toronto to visit the world.